And speaking of baseball, Max Scherzer did something last night that has only been done four other times in history. He struck out 20 batters in a nine-inning game in the Nationals' 3-2 win over the Tigers. Scherzer joins Roger Clemens, who did it twice, Kerry Wood, Randy Johnson as the only players to accomplish the feat. Now, to put in perspective how rare this is, there have only been 23 perfect games, Skip. So what's more impressive? A perfect game or a 20 strikeout game in nine innings? Obviously, as Molly just pointed out, the, the numbers would scream to you that the 20 strikeout performance is much harder to pull off because there have been 23 perfect games versus only five of these 20 strikeout performances. Stephen A., this is, see, I'm going into my 12th year on this show. Back in the early days of the show, we used to debate on an almost seemed like daily basis quality of no hitters quality of perfect games yep. what was the degree of difficulty and i would find lots of them to be laughably overrated this is what has always amazed and sometimes amused me about the game of baseball there's so much luck involved in hitting a baseball and getting hits in baseball because as you well know it's so difficult to make solid contact that it's very difficult, to, close to impossible, for a hitter to actually precisely aim where he hits a baseball. So what happens in some no-hitters, lots of guys make solid contact and hit line drives. They don't elevate the ball, but they hit line drives right at an infielder or maybe right at an outfielder. Or maybe one of those fielders ranges far to his left or far to his right and makes a great play to save the no-hitter off a ball that should have been hit in the gap for two or three bases. So it, this, this is where on 20 strikeouts, you take most of the luck out of the game because you took the bat out of the guy's hand. I mean, he just couldn't touch you. And in this case, in Max Scherzer's case, nine times last night, he had a three-pitch strikeout. Think about that. Nine times it was good morning, good afternoon, good night. Boom, 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 you're out. Uh, I, I'm, I'm out, you know, like, okay, and you feel completely overmatched, so you're taking the luck out of the game on balls that are hit right at somebody and hit hard. But I just happened to be working in Chicago back in 1998, May the 6th, I believe it was, when Kerry Wood had his 20 strikeout game. And now we're into degree of difficulty of 20 strikeout games because this is where we muddy the water. Last night, Max Scherzer, and maybe people lost sight of this, he gave up two earned runs. He gave up six hits. He gave up two home runs, one in the ninth inning that got them in a little bit of trouble, made it three to two. And Dusty Baker's like, should I leave him? Should I bring in Papelbon? Because obviously the object of the game was to win it, not to equal the record. In fact, he had a chance with, with one batter remaining to, as you know, to actually break the record. But in the Kerry Wood game, which I had the privilege of watching and writing about in Chicago as the columnist for the Tribune, it, it was ranked, it is now rated as the greatest pitching performance ever. Because in that game, Kerry Wood won two to nothing, had one batter hit by pitch, and one infield hit, and that's it. The Houston Astros were completely overmatched. 20 strikeouts with, with nothing else to show for it. So that game was much higher rated than this 20 strikeout game, so you even have degrees of difficulty there. But to take nothing away from Max Scherzer, he did it in the fewest pitches ever. 119 pitches to register 20 strikeouts is just phenomenal. But I take these over perfect games or no hitters of any variety. So do I. <clears throat> there are plenty of perfect hitters. You know, and it's, it's, it's more simplistic for me than that, Skip. When I think about a perfect game, uh, devoid of the amount of strikeouts that we're talking about here. Let's just say, for example, let's chop it in half. Let's say, for example, somebody threw a perfect game and they struck out 10 batters or 12 batters, Skip. So much assistance is provided by your fielders. Yep. You got a defense behind you and they come to your aid. Don't get me wrong, you deserve the credit because you kept the ball in play. And obviously they were put in a position where they could come to your rescue, whether it's fielding or catching something in the outfield or whatever the case may be. You could do that. With 
Last night's performance by Scherzer, first of all, he was dealing. He looked big time. Had the fastball working, had the slider working, had the cutter working. I mean, this brother was sensational. It was something special to watch. And when you consider the fact that it was against his former team, rife with individuals who were once his teammate, talking smack to him beforehand about how they were going to light him up, particularly when you consider the fact that he was fresh off of giving up about four home runs against Chicago just a few days earlier in his previous performance. All of those things factored into the equation. But the strikeout guys, like you would say, I love that and that, that way you phrased it. Good, good morning, good afternoon, I good night. Too. Three yeah. and out. Ah, that was beautiful. That's a beautiful way to put it. To do that to nine batters was something special. To give up a homer to Iglesias in the third inning. To come back in the eighth and give up a home run to J.D. Martinez. But to somehow, some way, in between those times, before, in between, after, to still bring the heat for your last pitch to be 98.1 miles per hour. That just shows me that you got some serious heat coming your way, which we all know Scherzer has had. He's not a fluke. These are the kind of things that he's capable of, but you still don't anticipate you're waiting. Okay, he's capable of the no-hitter. Well, he's got two of those. He's capable of a perfect game. He's capable of striking out 15. He's capable. He's much better than the 4.15 ERA that he has right now. He pitched 52 innings this year. He's already struck out 66. This is who he is. But you still find yourself in awe because somehow, some way, there are moments that arrive in each season that he's pitching where there's something even more special than what you saw before. He hasn't come out of nowhere. It's just that the greatness that he he puts on display on occasion somehow, some way, finds a way to eclipse other great moments he himself has provided. So it's something like that, and I look at it from that perspective. I think about Roger Clemens. I think about him. I think about Kerry Rhodes, Kerry Woods, I'm sorry, being 20 years of age against the Astros that time and doing what he did. And I just look at this performance, and I think it's spectacular, and it's much better to me than a perfect game. Because even with a perfect game, you know, to me, you know how baseball is. And Scherzer, Scherzer put it best, Skip. He talked, he said the word sexy. Just like home runs are sexy, so are strikeouts. Yep. Guys bouncing into double plays and flying out to right or left field or center field. I said, yeah, that's nice when you're going for a, a no-hitter or a perfect game. But when you are literally blowing guys away, that's what you really want to see. There are two things that you love going to a ballpark, to a baseball ballpark to see. You want to see the home runs. And you want to see strikeouts courtesy a high heat. And remember, he just threw fastballs down the pike at them to end the game. I'm not, I'm not playing any games with you. I'm coming at you. I'm taking you out. That's what greatness is. So I got to change the subject real quick here with Molly's help. The, the shot I'm seeing of you in the monitor has this Stephen A. picture over on your shoulder, and it looks like the little voice on your shoulder. Yeah, you can't see it right it now. Does. But but you, in your Alberto commercials, yeah. you have the little voice. You're the little voice in somebody's stomach. Now you've got mm. your little, I don't know if it's your devil voice. That's what or I was your, wondering. Yeah, I don't know, but he's right on your shoulder. Devil voice, because yeah. we know you have Angel or devil. I, 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 was, I wasn't aware of that, but yeah. you know, when, 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 you, when, you, when you're trying to be great, yeah. you know, sometimes <laughs> roadblocks come the way. You got to know how to dance with the devil sometimes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know who that little it. guy is over there. Gotta he's looking it. up. You know what? I think yes. it's your angel voice because he's looking up into the heavens, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. New okay. level, new devil, Stephen A. It works. It, like works. It. All right. it works. All right. The Nationals are a half game behind the Mets and the NLE. Skip, good morning, good afternoon, good night. <laughs> That's what you do in debates, right? Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, yes. So why did Bill... He wishes. He wishes. Yeah. I knew that was coming. Okay, 